It's a great milestone for the team to, to have the, the boat, the, all the equipment and things down here in Auckland and um, now we've been able to get in the process of setting up, getting the, the base ready and, uh, and then hopefully sailing uh, towards the end of July. It's really nice to be back in New Zealand. It's been you know, a long time been away and you know, great to be able to know that we'll be out on the um, home waters again before too long. You'd think the two weeks was going to take a long time to pass and you know, it, it did, you know, there, were, there were moments where it sort of felt like would it, would it end but it, it was nice to be able to do it with the family and um, and I'd have to say today has been uh, been fantastic to get back out into general population. Given all the sort of delays, you know, and, and everything else, um, you know, we have to keep working on the development design process. And so, the simulator really is a way to check in with different configurations of the boat, different things that we're testing. And it also helps to sort of keep you current with the, the with the sailing, even though we're not uh, not able to actually be on the water. And it's it's something that the teams developed in house, like uh, all the other teams have. And yeah, we, we have very high confidence in the results that we get out of out of the simulator and, and then also the ability to go and do a bit of um, practice racing. So it's obviously nice to break up the time in, in the, um, the hotel room and so to have the simulator was great. Um, but yeah, the time you know, certainly passed pretty quickly. It's not really the, the, the top speed that is what you're, you're looking for, it's having good average speeds around the course and um, if you wanted to get one of these things going really fast you could certainly do that with you know, different foils. But, uh, in general, you know, you know, we've had some great sailing on Defiant in the first um, the first few months that we've had it, and it's going to be fantastic to be out sailing here on the Waitemata Harbour before too long. There's always an element of danger when the boats are travelling, you know, close to sort of 40, 50 knots a lot of the time, and you get two boats sort of in uh, in close um, quarters and things. Well, you know, no one wants to give a you know a give an inch, and it's um, yeah, it can get pretty uh, pretty interesting at times. Yeah, in the end, it's um, you know, there's a lot of respect for the other teams and you know how they manage their boats and. Um, yeah, it'll be great to to finally see these things lined up, you know, going against each other later in the later in this year. Yeah, well, the rules uh, forbid us from from uh, lining up and testing against um, another competitor. So, you know, um, no doubt we'll see them out there. Um, but uh, yeah, we, you know, we've got a obviously a pretty yeah long list of items that we need to to work through just to sort of try and a catch up on the lost time uh, that we've sort of you know the last three months we've sort of lost a you know a fair chunk of time so we've got a, a big list of things we need to do once we get out sailing and all things going well then you know we'll be looking forward to boat two getting down here and um, ripping into that. Our boat two is, is going to be quite different from our first boat. Um, a lot of the, the extra design time that we had, we had three months really from when we got given the rule to designing boat one so the guys did a great job to, to get you know what we have you know here behind us and um, it's been a great platform to, you know, to develop, you know, a lot of the different systems and everything else. But, you know, boat two, like I'm sure for all the other teams, will be, you know, is very much the, the race boat, and we already know there's some big gains to be had there. And, and, um, you know, we're certainly very looking forward to, to getting that down here, getting that on the water, and, um, you know, the final run into the start of racing. There's some issues uh, going on amongst the event and. Uh, uh, Team New Zealand, so you know who knows what you know what, what what's behind it. But as you say, it's um, it's not unusual for the America's Cup to be have some sort of controversial uh, things going on, and um, you know this is certainly going to be no different. I'm sure. Uh, I can safely say it's got nothing to do with us. Um, you know we're uh, just a, as interested as I'm sure a lot of other people are to, to hear what it's about. You know, to to have the four teams all down here um, later in the year will be really really cool, and just to see the the boats. You know the boats are, are, are really uh, amazing to see sailing around the bay and well where we were in, in Florida, what it will be like to see them out around here. Um, there's a great sort of race course area um, which will uh, for make, make for some great viewing and everything else. But um, yeah, it's, it's exciting to, to think that you know, we, we're going to have you know, such a great spectacle here on Auckland waters. You know, we've got work to catch up to where we were. Um, you know, we stopped sailing early March. The other teams have all been sailing uh, in the, the time in between. And so you know, given you know, everything that's sort of played out over the last sort of um, few months with uh, you know, developments around the world, it's, um, you know, it's, it's definitely had an impact on our, our preparation. So you know, really the, the, the first segment for us is really just sort of getting back up to speed with where we need to be and then you know, ripping into our development process. And you know, I'm sure you know, with the quality of the guys that we have in the team, you know, I think it'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back up to speed very quickly, but it's just, um, you know, it's just that sort of long-awaited anticipation of actually being able to get back out on the water.